Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we'll solve the problem from optics. So this is build your understanding question number nine. So in this question, we have a wide homogeneous beam of light that falls on a concave spherical mirror. Okay, whose radius is capital R and the incident rays are parallel to the optic axis. A small opaque disc whose radius is and small r is much less in comparison to the radii of curvature. And it's given that the material of the disc is perfectly heat insulating. It is placed at a distance of r by 4 from the pole of the mirror perpendicular to the optical axis. In, the st in steady state, both the surfaces of the disc acquire different temperatures slightly higher than the surroundings. So we have to find the ratio delta t1 by delta t2 where delta t1 and delta t2 are the temperature differences of the left and the right surfaces of the disc and the surroundings. So delta t1 is the excess temperature of the left surface with respect to the surroundings and delta t2 is for the right surface. Okay, so we have to figure out their ratios. Also one more thing as we can see from the diagram, the dimensions of the disc is much small in comparison to the dimension of the... So that essentially means that we, we can assume that the rays that fall on this disc are rays that are much closer to the pole of the mirror, meaning we can use the paraxial approximations here. Okay. Okay. So let's say this is a spherical mirror. So the focus of this mirror is at this particular point. The disc is placed at a distance of f by 2, which means it will be right at the middle. So I am enlarging the disc a bit so that it's easy for us to draw the rays and it's also given to us that the incoming rays are coming parallel to the optical axis. Okay, so now it's given to us in the problem that the disc that we have is actually opaque and heat insulating. Now what opaque means is that the incoming rays that hit the left surface primarily what will happen to them is they'll either get reflected back or they will get absorbed onto the left surface which in turn will increase the temperature of the left surface. Okay, it either reflects or it absorbs. So it does not let rays to transmit through the material. On top of that, it's also given that the material is heat insulating. It means that uh, as we can clearly see that there is some temperature difference between the left and right surface, there won't be any heat transfer through the material. So that's what they were trying to say by saying that this is a heat insulating material. Okay, okay guys. so first we'll determine the power incident on the left surface. So this is pretty easy to uh, determine. So if we look at the disc from the left side, the cross section of the disc will look something like this. Light rays come hit it perpendicularly, right? So the incident power will be the light intensity, which let's say it is I multiplied by the area of cross section, which is going to be pi r squared. And as we have to talk about the steady state, in, so in steady state, what will happen is that uh, the power incident on the left surface, it will be equal to the heat convected to the surroundings okay and by the heat convected to the surroundings we can write it using newton's law of cooling and that we can write it as h a delta t1 so what newton's law of cooling actually says is that the rate at which an object cools is actually directly proportional to the temperature difference between the object and the surroundings now there is one more information that, that they should have actually given and that's the absorptivity of the left surface. All of the incident energy does not have to be absorbed, right? A fraction of it could be reflected as well. So to be more correct, we have to multiply this with the absorptivity. Let's call it alpha, okay? So it doesn't really matter because uh, it will be the same for even the right surface as we just have to figure out the ratios and the alpha just cancels out. But to be more correct, we should actually write the absorptivity as well, okay? So on the right surface, the rays that will be incident on them are the ones that are reflected from the mirror, right? Now, as these are clearly all parallel rays, after reflection, they will all meet at the focus, right? So, and some of the rays after getting reflected will go hit on the right surface and some of them will not hit the disc and it will just go back to the focus, right? So basically, we want to figure out the fraction of light that actually hits the right surface. For that, we can actually do some reverse engineering. So we know that the light rays after reflection will pass through the focus, right? So we can actually draw two extreme rays from the focus. So this is ray number one and another ray symmetrically on the other side. So this particular point over here, let's call it point one is an important point. Because if you consider any point above this particular point, then the light ray will not actually hit the metal surface. Ultimately, the light rays that will hit the right surface are light rays that belong to this much part, right? Because uh, the light rays coming from this part will actually get blocked because of the left surface. So basically the light rays that enter this region after reflection will come hit the hit the right surface, okay? Or, and if I do the exact same thing for the other side, the light rays that will hit the metal surface will correspond to 
this particular part over here basically we have to figure out how much energy is incoming from this part and this part okay because that will be the intensity that will hit the right surface okay so before that let's try to figure out some distances actually okay guys so let's say this angle is some phi now phi we can pretty easily determine because the radii of the radii of the disc is given to be r and this distance we know is the focal length divided by 2 now i want you to observe this particular triangle over here so this length over here is also f by 2 because again we are assuming paraxial rays right so this distance over here we can almost neglect it so this distance over here is also approximately f by 2 these two angles are equal right because of opposite interior angles so it means that these two triangles over here are actually congruent which means this distance over here is also smaller and by symmetry we can also say this distance is also smaller okay so now what we're going to do is guys we have to figure out the energy passing through this region and this region so what we can actually do is figure out the energy net energy that is passing through the whole region right and then subtract the energy that was passing through this particular region okay so the incoming energy through the full region guys, this is actually a circular region so basically this region corresponds to a circle whose radius is 2r so if i have to draw it in a slightly different diagram imagine a circle like this so this is how the total energy is coming in and some of the energy gets blocked because of the disk the rest of the energy go gets reflect comes back and hits the disk so the energy that we want is the energy corresponding corresponding to this region so that will be the incoming energy which is going to be i times pi into 2r squared right because that's the area of this big disk and i have to subtract the area of our opaque disk which was pi r squared right so this will be the in incoming power received by the right surface so if you solve it this comes out to be 3 pi r squared times i so the energy that passes through this region is actually three times the energy that was incident on the left surface. Now we can similarly write the power incident on the right surface. It will be alpha times i 3 pi r squared and this would be equal to similarly h a. These are just constants right into delta t2. So for the right surface the temperature difference with the surroundings was delta t2. What they wanted us to figure out is delta t1 by delta t2. Everything else cancels out and the only only the 1 by 3 factor remains so this will be the answer to the problem so yeah that was it for this video guys if you enjoyed the video do like share and subscribe and that's it thanks for watching